Yeah, he defeated uh, Louis Meng. But now we have the turn of the world number three, Ness Lihan Cavas of Turkey, who takes on the Brazilian, Jennifer Marquez Perinos. So it will be buoyed by plenty of home support, Marquez Perinos. She's uh, ranked 11th in the world. Highest ranking that she achieved was uh, 9th in October 2015. But that will be the underdog for this one. These two have met seven times before, and it has been the Turkish player who's won every single one of those. He also met twice in 2016, and again it was uh, Kavas who came out on top. That was both in Slovakia and in Slovenia, and uh, I'm afraid Marquez Brynjus wasn't able to take a set on either of those occasions, although she has taken two games of her opponent before out of those seven encounters. But Kavas... A very canny player on a silver in 2012 singles in London. And also won silver in the team classification as well in London. Also a bronze medalist from Beijing in 2008 in the singles. And all those three medals are all that Turkey have ever won on Paralympic table tennis. As for uh, Marcus Pirinos, this is her first ever Paralympic Games. And what a special occasion it will be for the 20 year old in front of her home fans. Brazil have never won gold before in para table tennis, but they have won one silver. And uh, Marquez Pirinos will be hoping she can spring a surprise and claim another silver. As we look at our uh, umpire for this one, Elena Semenova from Russia, to look after this one. This is a uh, Group A encounter, as I say. The top two will go through from this group into the knockout phases. There's eight athletes competing in the women's singles class nine, so there's also four in Group B. And what it means is that every point is to play for. Because uh, if you are tied, it goes back on the match ratio, then games ratio, then points ratio. So important to pick up as many points as possible. Incidentally, this is a, a class nine uh, encounter. And what that means is that it's uh, mild impairments of the leg or legs or mild impairments of playing arm or severe impairments of non-playing arm or mild cerebral palsy with uh, hemiparesis or monoplasia. And is a star in Turkey. Ms. Lihan Kavas, what she has done in terms of uh, the para table tennis. Turkey had never won a medal before uh, she came on the scene. As I say, won bronze in Beijing in 2008 in the singles. Silver in London 2012. Can she go one better in Rio? She also won two silvers, incidentally, in London. She won the team classes at 6 to 10. She's a, a silver medalist from the World Championships as well back in 2010 in Korea. Won bronze in 2014 at the World Championships in Beijing. She has been a four times European champion. 2007, 2011, 2013 and 2015. One of the best in the world. As I say, world number three right now. A former world number one, which she achieved in October 2011 last. So we'll take a look at the Brazilian coach. As for Marquez Perinhos, she uh, won a bronze at the World Championships in Beijing, which was a bit of a surprise, but... A superb performance there in the team event, that is. And also won silver in the Parapan American Games in 2015 in Toronto. And these are two standout performances, but has had a decent year. Won that bronze at the Slovakia Open in the classes 8 to 9. And uh, won team silver in the Slovenia Open as well. So he's got a bit of form to take into this match. is to win a medal here at the 2016 Paralympics in Rio. As for uh, a little bit more on uh, Ms. Lihan Kavas, and her biggest influence, she said, is her family. She, her philosophy is to fight. And her most uh, memorable achievement is those two silver medals from the 2012 Paralympic Games. Again, at the age of 10, 
instantly, which is back in 1997. Now 29, so nine years older than Marcus Perinos. It's Cavas who's won the first point in this encounter. First point on the board then for Brazil. Yeah, I've been feeling a few butterflies coming into this one. Marquez Perinos. Plenty of support for her though in the stance. It's a devilish serve. Maybe a backspin on the ball there from Cavas. As Perinos can deal with it. And again, always tough to combat the backspin with topspin. Encouragement from the Turkish coach. You know how important a good start is here, just to settle the nerves, particularly when you're the favourite. Which uh, Kavas is in on this occasion. been on the serve from Marquez Perinos. So it was an excellent rally, just pushing that one long though, didn't quite get the top spin on the ball that was needed. That's fabulous table tennis working the ball from side to side. And early, she struck that forehand, taking all the time away for Marquez Reynos to recover. This time it's the Brazilian who's able to take the forehand early and take the time away from a Turkish opponent. That time, not with too much spin from Marquez Perinos and Kavas pouncing on it. Remember this is a Group A matchup. Leilina already with a win to her belt, under her belt, I should say. Turn from Cavas. And with that return, it gives herself four game points. And a vicious bit of spin on the serve does for Marquez Perinos. It's a, a first game for Cavas. Takes it by 11 points to six. Confirmation of that then. There you go, taking just four minutes, 11-6, Cavas the victor. Because it is best of five in the Paralympic Games. All of the, uh, the games are up to 11. Of course, if it gets to 10 all, they alternate serves. You've probably noticed that they hit two serves each. Feedback then from both coaches. So 
So it'll be the Brazilian to get the second game underway. That's just quality from Cavas. Forehand is the shot she likes to control the point with. And switching to the backhand there, not reading the spin. It's a bit of emotion shown by the 20-year-old. She's unaffected by losing that first game. Vicious serve that one and almost stopped dead. Guess you need to reach for it. Goes for the same sort of serve as well. But overcooks the forehand this time. And again, Cavas has a two point lead in this game. Another healthy lead here for Cavas. That's why it's a wonderful forehand. Again, not as efficient as the forehand. A few errors from it, so it's a question really of whether Marcus Perinos can open up that wing. Maybe surprising our opponent there with serving to the, the forehand side. The spin coming off the bat, meaning that it just goes long. It's all about reading the spin of your opponent's bat, table tennis. Being able to react to it. At the moment, just feel Marquez Perinos has been able to put a run of points together. Got some nice points here and there, but struggling for momentum. It's Cavas who has all the momentum right now. Too many long rallies in this one. Plenty of fine serving, demonstrated there by the Turkish player. Speed of hitting. Whenever they've got into a longer rally, it has been Cavas who's come out on top of it. There's Perinos just wheeling away in frustration on that occasion. Big forehand there, though, from the Brazilian. Trying to just stay with her Turkish opponent in this second game. All around the arena, there's eight other tables, so it's sometimes difficult for players to focus. But in the Panopic Games, they will often talk to you and say that they're unaware of anything else going on around the grounds because they're so focused. Could is it the Paralympic Games? And it's four game points here for Cavas. That's a clever little backhand, lovely angle from the Turkish player. And it is Cavas who secures the second game. Same scoreline as the first by 11 points to six. There you go. Two games to love so far. Looking good for the world number three. 11-6, 11-6. Work to do then for the Brazilian Marquez Perinos.
Yeah, plenty of Brazilian support. I do feel right now Marquez Perinos needs it, as well as some information from her coach. Has to change something because really it's been a little too comfortable for Cavas. Competitive in both games. Time is called. So Cavas to start this third game. Two games to love up. Let's see that Marcus Perinos is turning to her coach, exasperated, struggling to deal with all the shots that. Kevin's has in her armory. Again, just working her opponent from side to side. She's in a real rhythm right now, the 29 year old. Oh, what a shot that is. Onto it in a flash. And already, Kevin's giving herself a healthy lead in this third game. Understandably, timeout called, I think, by uh, Marquez Perenos. So these timeouts are often called just to stop the momentum. All the momentum right now is with the Turkish player. Look at that. Striking it flat right into the corner. And this is a women's singles class nine matchup. First uh, matchup for both of these players in Group A. The other two players are Leilina and Louis Meng. Two Chinese players. It was uh, Leilina who won earlier on today against her Chinese counterpart. Top two players from each of the two groups will go through the knockout phase, so we go straight through to the semi-finals. So is that conversation going to change anything for the Brazilian? Oh, that's a fabulous point. We finished off with a quite delightful forehand up the line. I oh, like it. And encouragement, understandably, from Marquez Perinos's coach. She's running out of time here to turn this match around. Yeah. What a backhand. That time up the line from Marquez Perinos. in a row then that hasn't happened too often for the Brazilian and that run comes to an end once more it's been clever from Cavas in terms of how she's been able to work her opponent maneuver her from side to side Coming from other tables, there are other Brazilians in action. Still fighting, though, here. Marcus Perinos. Each game, though, has been pretty similar. In terms of it's always been Cavas who's been out in front. She's always had a lead. It's never really got that tight in the first two games 11 6, 11 6. This one's heading in a similar direction. 
it's been there deceiving the Turkish player on that occasion. Again, it's an excellent serve. Is it too little, too late, though? Kavas, two points away from victory. What can Marquez Perenos produce here? Another solid point. So just drawing Kavas in, and then the big forehand pushing her back. Protected spot on there. Definitely 20 year old. That's oh, a devilish serve. With the angle and nothing really that Marquez Perinos could do about it. So it's three match points for Cavas. Well, the player who won two silvers in London four years ago gets her campaign here in Rio off to a winning start. Super performance from Neslihan. Cavas doesn't drop a game. And she is the winner of this encounter in Group A, the women singles class night. You can afford a, a smile after that performance, of course. It's a very polished performance. She is one of the favourites, certainly, to medal here in Rio. I wouldn't be too surprised if she went all the way to claim a gold. Of course, Turkey have never won a gold at the Paralympics in table tennis. Neither have uh, Brazil. There's confirmation 